Now, the next verse. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father and it sufficeth us. Yes. Who is the Father? By this New Testament. Say it again. You said something. I heard you say something. I said, who is the Father that Jesus Christ is referring to? What about the Father? The Almighty God. The Almighty God. Yeah, according to Baba, yeah. The Creator. Excellent. The Creator, yeah. So the Creator, the Almighty God, yeah. is the one that Jesus Christ is talking about the here. The God, yeah. The God of Jesus, yeah. Thank you. The God of Jesus, yes. Now pay attention. I know. A question, just in case anybody might have confusion. Number nine. Wait, calm down. I know it. Just in case anybody might get confused in the future. Yeah. A question was asked by divine providence by one of the disciples called Philip and listen to the question. That's why I said God is the one who reveals who he is. Not a Muslim or a Christian. God is the one who reveals who he is. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, God Almighty. And it sufficeth us, and we will be satisfied and reassured mm -hmm. that this is the Father. Mm -hmm. What was Jesus Christ's reply? Verse number nine, yeah. What does the word I mean? He did not see me. Hey, wait. What does the word, uh, the letter, sorry, but in this case it's a word. Ask him a question. What, because I know you need to think. I know that verse inside. What does I mean, sir? I, what does I mean? If you use I in a sense, I am a Christian, I am a Muslim. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about what does yeah. I mean? Come on, come on, then. Come on. Answer I'm, I'm the waiting. question is fundamental. I mean I, I'm Lamin. I means what? Lamin. It means, and me, Lamin is Lamin, are you a man? Yes, I am. Good. Go, so, go, go so You're wasting time. I'm not wasting You're time. Three minutes going I am not wasting You're time. Three minutes, I am focused on okay. what matters the most. Jesus Christ says, We're waiting for as a nice prophecy. Excuse me. I'm still waiting for listen. it. Everlasting Father, priest, everlasting Father, mighty listen, God, I become a Christian. Listen, I'm waiting. Listen. Have I? What are, who, who is the I he's talking about? He's struggling now. Who's struggling? No, I'm no, not struggling. As I nine six prove it to me. Listen to the statement. I don't, I don't there. Know, tell me, I don't know. Go on. Have I been so long with you and yet thou knowest uh, thou uh, not known me, and thou hast not known me. He Who is the I he's talking about there? You know, I told you, you know the logos, no, you don't know the he, rhema. He, go, go, Jesus, go. But I'm, I'm waiting. Jesus, I'm nine, nine, six, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Say it again. <laughs> Jesus, God. Okay, I'm, I'm, go. Jesus, go. So talk now. You, uh, talk. You say, talk. No, okay. no talk. Listen, Do you, listen, listen. Do you want me to tell you, Gospel of John 14? Verse number eight to nine, you're quoting. Start from verse number one to verse what five. What does do it want? mean? But I'm waiting for you, as I nine six. Then I, I answer what it I, means. I, I don't know. Tell me. I don't know. Tell me. What is it? His disciple. You're struggling. Go. I'm, I'm waiting. His disciple asked him, wait. "Where is the Father, the Almighty Father that yeah, you yeah, mentioned?" Yeah, yes, yes, go. And Jesus replied, "Yes. Have I, that is the Father, yeah. been with you all this while, yeah. and you have not known that it's me?" Yeah. So, go, go. Have I, who is the I? Listen to me what he's saying. Who is the I? Do you believe Jesus the Father on the earth? I will, I'll, answer, I'll blow you away. Answer I'll the give question. you an intellectual denaza. No, brother, no, listen to me. Who, who is the I? Brother, I don't know. Who is now. the I? I don't know. Tell me. You don't know. I, yeah, tell me. Teach me. I is the Father. I is the Father. Yes. So Jesus is re referring to him as the Father. He's referring to himself as, the father. as who the Father is. And who is the father? So he's the father on the earth. Who is the father? I'm asking you. The father is God. Yeah. So Jesus is the father on the earth. Answer my question. No, 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 no. Tell me. I asked you who is the father. You, so I'm happy. Jesus I'm the... happy you are confessing you don't I know said, because you Jesus, do not know. I said Jesus was not the Jesus, father on the earth. Jesus is telling you that here. Tell me. That as the father is, so is he. He is God. He's That's God. what that statement means. So he was the father on the earth. I'm asking you. 
He is God on the earth. Father on the, the earth. Father is God. The Son is God. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is God. Yeah. And just in case you need some help, so when it, no, the no. Bible says, listen to me. Listen, the Bible. The, the, let, all right, let me just you ask me a question. Give me thirty seconds. And, and as I now say, he's telling miserably. Thirty. thirty he was minutes. excited here. Mighty God ever I said, because a single verse. The answer. Jesus, the answer to your question is in Hebrew chapter. The answer to your question is in Hebrew chapter one. But I am taking you there gradually. Okay, are you finished? Let me talk now. No, don't you know, I was just about to finish. Let me know when Jesus said, that He did not see me, has seen the Father. What did that mean? Jesus was the Father on the earth and said it? No. But Jesus was saying that He is as the Father is. God. Explain that to me. I, I see that. That's, no, you explain it. I'm happy. Was Jesus. John. Chapter 5. No, 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 don't go, don't go. Don't no, go, no, let me use the Bible don't, to don't, answer your question don't, don't now. Digress, don't you digress. asked me a question. No, no, let's stop there because you, you, you wasted time. Either nine, you six, asked no. me a question. No. I want to you give you the answer. Let me let me I am go. not. The answer is in John chapter 5 verse 11. I'll give my turn. What if you give my turn? Yeah, I'll give it to you. No, no, I'm, going to, I'm going to feel bad now because no, I brother, want you to let, become let, born again. Let, so let, if let, I treat you badly, you might not agree. So go ahead, go ahead, sir, please. Pastor Martin. He's failing miserably. Ah, he failed? Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. For, five, for more than five minutes, the man who exiled Isaiah 9 6, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. This is Jesus. Jesus is God. I say to you, it's a prophecy. If you show me anyone who called Jesus Mighty God, Everlasting Father, I become a Christian. You're going to John, John, John 14, 8 to 9. What about now? now John 14, 9. Now, when Jesus said to Philip, He did not see me, has seen the Father. I'm asking you, did that mean that Jesus was the Father on the earth? I mean, if you say yes, you know what I'm going to quote? Of I'm going to quote you. Yeah, of course, yeah. he's going to say so. And you know the dream. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to go back to your Bible. I use against I you. I know you. You look happy. Study your Bible. You no. go to Matthew. Matthew. That Matthew. is why. Let me talk. Oh, oh sorry. Matthew, sorry, sir. Matthew 23 9. Matthew 23 9. I know Jesus said. Jesus said, Matthew 23 9. And do not call anyone on the earth father. Exactly. For you have one father and he's in heaven. And yet. No, let, me, let, me, let me finish. And you've got John. John 5 37. Jesus said, John 5 37. And the father who sent me has himself borne witness to me. His voice you have never heard. His form you have never seen. Jesus was the Messiah. Thank Listen you. Listen to me. God's representative. Uh, no, let me finish. Let me finish. Sorry, sir. No God incarnate. You cannot show me anywhere in your Bible why Jesus claimed to be divine. Huh? Listen to me. Fully God, fully man is not the Bible. Listen to me. God the Son is not the Bible. The Bible, Bible is not the Bible. I quoted the Quran. Yeah, Quran. The word Quran. It's in the, the word Muslim is there. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me talk. Look what I'm saying. Allah may declare in the Quran. Yeah, He is Allah, which we worship Him alone. You can't call it. You call worship Jesus, but the proof is not there. Jesus never said He's what He's God. Never said worship Him. Surah Taha. If you go to Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse number 14. Taha 24. Allah said, "Indeed, I am Allah. Eh? There is no deity." There is no God except me. So worship me and establish prayers, my remembrance. And Allah may declare to Prophet Muhammad peace for him. In Surah Al Anbiya 20, uh, 21 25, he said, Not a messenger did we, Allah, send before you, O Muhammad. We are this inspiration sent by us to him that there is no God but I. Therefore, worship and serve me alone. Jesus was a Muslim. All the prophets were Muslims. They all submitted their will to Almighty God Allah. Now, I'm waiting for you to show me a proof as I 9 6. As the Jew, Jewish man came, young man came to tell you that as a Nazic has nothing to do with Jesus. So he will be called. Did anyone call Jesus mighty God ever the Father? No. Don't go. Well, allow, you allow me, allow me to answer you. Okay, Hebrews chapter. Oh, no, no, no. All right. I'm telling you, the Bible said first Thessalonians 521. Proof all things. All that yeah, which is true. Yeah, yeah, what you yeah. Are, yeah. Quran said how to Quranakum produce all proof in Kundum in Kundum Sadi King. You have truthful. All you are saying, you are everywhere. Where is the proof? Ah. Go, go to Hebrews, Hebrews 1, 8, so, Hebrews 1, 9. So minutes. allow me, allow me. Uh, Hebrews 1, 8. Wait a minute, minutes. wait a minute. First and foremost, go to here, Hebrews. excuse me, sir. Here you have a gentleman who has decided to ignore 
exactly what Jesus Christ of Nazareth said about himself. I'm waiting. Let me finish, sir, please. You know, you, remember, you had the opportunity to talk. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, yeah. Stating clearly that the same nature of person that God the Father is, he is. Very clear, unambiguous. That's one. In Hebrews chapter 1, this is God talking about himself and referring us to who Christ is. Remember I said something at the beginning. God reveals who he is. He does not need somebody or to contradict what he said in the future based comparative to what he said in the past. In the Old Testament, he stated clearly who he was. We don't know who God is except God tells us. In the Old Testament, he told us. In the New Testament, he told us. Now, he's going to, I'm going to talk to you about what God himself said. He said this. Hebrews 1, 8. And, and again, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 6. I'll start from 6. To give you the background. And again, remind me that I'm also going to read John chapter 5, verse 11. But still I'm waiting for that. And again, and again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, this is God speaking, not even Jesus now. God, inspirationally speaking, says this. When he, God, brought the first begotten into the world, he said, God said, and he, and let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But unto the Son, he saith, get this clear. Unto the Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he saith, thy throne, O God. Who is the one, sorry, there's, there's an insect on your beard. Thy throne, O God. God is saying of his Son, thy throne, O God. When God calls his Son God, who are you to tell him God that he's not a God? Go on, tell me, who are you? That's why I warned you, but with love. Brother, I've been doing for 10 years. If God... Any angle you come from, I'm calm waiting. Down, calm I'll down, I'll rebut it. I'm calm waiting. Down. There's no rebuttal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Unless you want to say God is I'll not that God. I'll give you Bible lessons. Go. Thank you. Oh, go but you need to give God Bible lessons. Go, 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 go there, read it. Finish and it. you cannot finish, give God finish. Bible lessons. Finish, finish that. Hebrews 1, 8. Go to 1, 9. A scepter of righteousness is thy scepter, is the scepter of thy kingdom. This is God talking no, you, about. No, you, no, no, you lie. Start oh. from the beginning. Okay, finish, finish it. Verse the, number eight. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Everlasting, what? Father. Mighty God. <laughs> oh, oh, so if Almighty, so if Almighty God calls you, if Almighty God calls you God, you are not God. I mean, there are two gods. If Almighty God calls me God, that's it. Yeah, that's Almighty my God. My brother, you see, God. you see, I'm waiting. You see, you know, I no. told you. Finish that, my brother. Go to Hebrews nine. No, allow me. You quoted one eight, one nine. Allow me to I'm waiting. allow me to finish. Finish it. Allow me to finish. You know, I told you. I'm finishing. We God. learn from God. We don't tell God. Okay, the Quran, I'm sorry to say, sir, and I have to be respectful. Finish that first. Let me finish. It's my time. Is it not my time? Oh, go ahead. The Quran is telling us that what is said in the New Testament, some of it is correct, some of it is wrong. Contradicting the Injil. <laughs> the Quran is contradicting the Old Testament. Isaiah chapter 9, he knows it. Isaiah chapter 7, he knows it. The Quran is contradicting the books that came before it. And I want to say this to every Muslim here. Please, with due respect to you. Let me, please, let me just, 30 seconds, please. Finish the verse, I put the context. Give me 30 seconds. Yo, Hebrews 1.8, you quote it. 
I've already yeah, put the, no, go the, to con Hebrews one nine. the context is clear. Can you see? Can you see? I can go to Hebrews go, one. Go to nine. nine. No, go, I can go. No, no. Go All to right, nine. Let me go to it. Go, code eight and nine and see. Even your book of Hebrews, put the context. Tell who is God, who is Jesus. Hebrews so, one eight. Quote it again. Don't go anywhere. Hebrews one. No. One eight. You quoted now. Yes. What did God call Jesus? Eh? Yes. No, no, no. Your throne, oh which God. One? Your Do you want which Hebrews now? Hebrews one eight. You quoted. Hebrews one eight. These these guys are crafty. My Nigerian pastors. If you say I should. No, finish it. You quoted eight. You quote nine. All right. Your throne, oh no. God, will last forever and ever. And what? Finish it. And you go to nine. I'm, I'm doing what you're saying. You, you are instructing me and I'm following your instruction oh. now. So allow me to follow you your instruction. Finish it. Go everywhere. You allow me. It. Allow me to follow. I know I'm African like you. Al 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 allow me to follow your instructions. Okay. You see, you see how crafty they are. But unto the son, he said. Yeah. So who is the one saying? No, go finish it. No, no, answer the question You're wasting first. time now. Answer the question first. You're wasting my time. Finish it, you see? Answer the question. Come on. Who is the one to, to saying? Jesus God, to Jesus God. God is saying it to Jesus. Yeah, God, God, yeah. Thank you. According to the Hebrew. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Yeah. Thou hast loved righteousness. Listen to this. And hated iniquity. Verse number nine, yeah. Therefore, therefore, God. Yeah. Even thy God. Who, 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 who does that mean? No, don't, don't go. What does that mean? No, no, I'm happy. No, 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 no stay there. I'm staying there. It, Therefore, it, when God said to Jesus, means, no, wait, wait. Therefore, God, your God. What does that mean? Let me say. It means God is speaking. God the Father is speaking to God the Son. So what did he say? Who's, what did he say? God the Son. What did he say to God the Son? God, therefore, God, your God. So, so whenever God wants to speak, no, no, but, no, no, no allow don't me. Die. No, no, let I'm me. not digressing. No, no, allow me I to. You, don't. you ask me a question. I want to answer you. Allow me to answer, answer, unless you want to put the words in my mouth. Because I know you are crafty. Do you want to put okay. the words in explain, my mouth, explain, explain. or should I answer? God the Son is sent to God. God the Father is going to send to God the Son. Explain it. Hebrews 1, 9. What does that mean? Very simple. Okay, God, listen. God the Son. God, God let me... Uh, you asked the question, now let me answer you. God. That is why I said, God reveals himself. God is a triune God. The same God you don't want to hear about. I'm going to talk. I'm let me finish. Three minutes. Oh. No, my three minutes. How many, how many minutes? Have I finished? You have not, you three minutes. Have I finished? Yeah. No problem. So not, continue. Yeah. But you'll give me three more. minutes after. Yeah. No. All right, continue. This man here, I tell everybody, you've been coming here for more than 10 years. Unbeknown to people, you haven't even studied your Bible. You, 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 you go to the Old Testament. You said God revealed himself. What goes in the Old Testament and the New Testament, they agree. And you challenge the, the Hebrew man there. The, the Paul! Paul the, the Pharisee. Who is knowledgeable? Hey, Paul is a liar, and I told, I'll show the contradiction. I'm going to know. But you, what Paul said? Let me, tell, let me, let me go. Hebrews, look. He, first of all, as a nine six, the man quoted here who excited, he failed miserably. He will be called mighty God, everlasting Father. He can't show me. I challenge him. If he saw me, anyone who called Jesus mighty God, everlasting Father, I become a Christian. Now he's go to Hebrews. Who wrote the book of Hebrews? Sir? Who wrote the book? Paul. Listen to me. Oh. Paul wrote the book of Hebrews. Paul wrote. Listen to me. Paul, everybody Google out the book of Hebrews. Google it out. And find out. The book of Hebrews, uh, according to two, uh, two camps. One camp said, the book of Hebrews, the author, anon, you, uh, anonymous. No one knows it. But some people give it a style of book of Hebrews to Paul. Yeah, because the style of writing the book of Hebrews is similar to the epistles of Paul. Now you are going to Paul again, Paul the impostor. Let me go to Paul. You know what Paul said? Uh, Paul said in Philippians 2:10 that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and on the earth. Why did Paul? Why did you are debating? Thank you, my sister. Why did Paul get from Paul, who is a Pharisee, he educated. Paul forgot to read the Old Testament. At the name of Jesus, every knee will bow or shall bow in heaven and under the earth and under the, on the earth and under the earth. Do you know what, what God said? Exodus 20, 3 to 5. You know, God said, Paul, if Paul had read the Old Testament, he wouldn't have said that. God said he, uh, in Exodus 20, 3 to 5, you shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. No, no, don't worry. Earth beneath, <laughs> or that is in the water on the earth. I've been you told shall to not bow down to serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Similar message repeated in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse number 79. You shall have no other God besides me. 
You see, God said, you shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water yonder the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them for I the Lord your God am a jealous God. Now you are bound down to Jesus. You call Jesus God. You are going against Continue now. Continue. You are going against You are going again. You are going again. What God said in the Old Testament my brother. All right. Yeah, that's what I said. Listen. Paul is an impostor. Paul the New Testament has 27 books. 27 books. From the book of Romans to the book of Philemon. Yeah. 27 books. No, no. 27 books. Listen to me. 27 books. Uh, from, uh, from Matthew, yeah. Gospel of Matthew, to the book of Revelation. But out of that 27 books, Paul wrote half of it. From the book of Romans to the book of Philemon, 13 books. And if you give, if you give the book of Hebrews to Paul, 14 books. When he's a crucifixion, resurrection, grace. Uh, it's all about Paul. Good. That's why we said you are following Paul, the teachings of Paul. All right. The I, think Paul, your, Jesus. I think your three minutes is getting close. So 30 seconds round what I'm off. Saying, we said, you said the debate is going to be 30 seconds round off. About sir. half an hour. But you're telling me, All right. As I nine, six, you can show As, me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse you're going me. to what? You're no, going no, to. No, no, I'm, I'm finished. All right, go I'll on. give you. You go, go to. Uh, you're everywhere. Go to uh, John 14, 8 to 9. 9 says, He does see me as the Father. You go to Hebrews 1, 1 8. 1 9, he didn't put the context. I mean, you're fairly miserable. So basically. Uh, when you finish. So allow me three uh, minutes. Allow you talk, when you talk, I'm going to go to the Old Testament and tell you what God says about himself. Six verses to the Banky Smith. You said it. God in the Old Testament revealed himself. All right. I don't know so, where. So stop there. My three minutes have you. To start my three minutes, I'm going to ask you one question. Has God ever manifested as a man on this planet? Brother, brother, please. Answer no, the question, listen, yes or no. Listen, listen, to me, listen to me. Listen to me. You go, you don't, don't ask me, Lord. No. I've asked no, you a me. simple question. Listen to me. Has God ever manifested as a man on this planet? Please. Yes or no? Listen to me. Uh, Soko, please. Answer the be question. Fair, 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 fair. I'm going to go with you. No, no, don't go now. Don't go now. Don't go now. I'm going to go. Don't do this now. This, this is what I have no, asked you a simple yeah, question. Yeah. It's a Soko, Soko, recording there, disturbing me. Sir, I have asked you. I have asked you. I have asked you a simple question, and I'm going to say several things. Has God ever manifested Himself as a man on this planet? Listen to me. Listen to me. If you saw me, no, no, I'll answer it. If you saw me, as I nine six. Answer the question. No, no, you're not. You're not. You're digressing. Answer the question. Answer the question, my brother. Show me the proof you can. He's telling. As God, the Genesis chapter eighteen. Has God ever manifested as a man on this planet? Your three minutes. Answer, answer, Your three minutes answer, the, que answer the question, answer, sir. Answer, answer, answer. Excuse me. Answer the question, sir. You are disappointing me. Answer the no, question. No, no. You have not answered the question. No, no, I can't answer. Go, go. Prove to me. You can't. Genesis chapter can't. 8. I can't Sorry. believe it. Genesis chapter Your 18. Your three minutes. I want to take it. Let go. No, no. Let me finish. Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. Jesus Christ appeared to the same Abraham we all call. He appeared and manifested as a man. And he had three angels that manifested as men. The Old Testament, you are talking about the Old Testament. In the Torah, it is written there. Your prophet says to you that you should honor the people of the book. I am the person of the book. Not only that. You are supposed to honor the Torah and the Injil. <laughs> now, in the Torah, God, God manifested as a man. Now, when God manifested as a man, was there a problem with him manifesting as a man and having communion with, uh, with Abraham? Was there a problem? Proof, no. Proof to us. Jesus is God. You can't. You're fairly miserable. I'm not. Sir. I'm waiting. You are it's fairly, just, bro. Just that. I know how to any, prove things. Any angle it come from. Proof I to, know you not. how to prove something, but you don't understand what proof is. No, no, I'm not waiting. You don't know what proof is. I'm waiting. Sir, I'm waiting for as I announce. So, so, <laughs> no, no, I'm happy. I'm happy you mentioned that. What was wrong with that? I'm waiting for you. No, no. Minutes. What was wrong with that? Genesis. God manifest in the flesh as a man came. 
So Jesus is God. What Jesus God? manifest in the flesh. That is God manifest in the flesh. He came. <laughs> and then you have one challenge. You know what the challenge is, sir? The challenge is that God is the one to tell you who God is. God is manifest as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He is manifest as all those three. He is not divided. What is the proof? What do you God mean? Where is, that? The, where is the proof? God, tell First me that. Thessalonians. I'm happy you even mentioned it. First Thessalonians. Brother, brother, brother. Go to the Old Testament. You said you it. What did God, what did God say about him in the Old Testament? Go. Six verses. No. What did God say about his... What did God say? He says that there's one God. No, no, go, go. There is no. one God. No, no, no. Go it. There's one six, God. Six Exodus, verses. Even more than that. Exodus 20. I, I can give you the rest. Go, go, go. I can go to Exodus 20. Go, go, go. The, 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 the 10th Testament. The 10th, uh, in the Old God. Testament. What did God say to the prophet in the Old Testament? About he him. revealed himself. He saw them his identity. The yes. Jews did, yes. not, did not have to figure so, out what is. So who is God when he manifested himself as a man, where was God? Your three minutes going did God leave heaven and manifest himself on the earth, abandoning his whole throne in heaven? God manifested as a man on earth. Yet, God was spirit seated on his throne in heaven. That's why I'm telling you, don't tell God who God is. Let God tell you who God is. Your Quran, your Quran has also made a statement, which is leading a lot of Muslims to hell. And I have to say this, I'm sorry to say. Allah, your God, which I don't believe is the same God as the God of the Jews, as well as the God of the Christian. Because, very simple. Your God says he does not have a son. One. Secondly, your son, your God says that what even if you take if you take Moses, um, Jesus Christ as a prophet, your God says that the prophet Jesus, his words are not true because Jesus said he would die and on the third day he will rise again. Your God says that is not true. Okay, and I call him a liar. Can I have about three minutes now? So, I'm sorry, sir. Can I have about three minutes? 30 seconds and then you have your three minutes. Okay, okay. On the fundamentals of what God says about himself, your, I'm sorry to say, your book, the Quran, is totally off point. It's totally off the line. God said, I'm, I'm going to, 30 seconds more, please. 30 seconds more. 30 seconds more. God said, God said in Matthew chapter 17, when James, John, and Peter were present with him at the Mount of Transfiguration, God came down and said to them, This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Hear him. You know that statement, you know why God made that statement? Because he said that anybody is going to say, Oh, sorry. I'm going to wrap, go on, wrap, up, wrap up. As go you on. can see, Pastor Martin here. Pastor Martin is stating the truth. And my brother here Martin, is trying to redirect no, no. what God Pastor, is saying no. Pastor, about himself. Pastor Martin is feeling miserably. <laughs> no. yeah. When he said what God said, he's going to hold the New Testament. And the Old Testament, all the other nine, six. Now, let me educate you what God said in the Old Testament. Listen, Old Testament. Since the man doesn't know what God says, to the children of Israel, huh? when God, what God revealed, when God uh, speaks, you see, the children of Israel, uh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the, all, the God of all the prophets, when all monotheists, they are all Muslims, they are all submitted with you all, I'm, I'm talking please, I'm going to, I'm going to, continue, I'm continue, talking, continue, continue now, don't be like this. Yeah, continue, yeah. continue. They never, there is not a single verse yeah, in the Old Testament where Almighty God said to the children of Israel, the Messiah is going to go incarnate. The Messiah is going to fully God, fully man. The Messiah is going to be second part of the second part of Trinity. God is Son. He's not there. That the Messiah is to be worshipped. Nowhere. Yeah, so let me tell you what. Let me educate you now. If you read your Bible. Since you know, you have studied the Old Testament. God said in Hosea 11:9. For I am God, I am not man. In the, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number uh, 40, chapter number 44, verse number 24, God said, 
I'm the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heaven, who spread the earth by myself, the God of the Old Testament. You read the Bible again. I know you have studied the Bible in Isaiah 43, 10 to 11. Isaiah 43, 10 to 11. I've quoted this extensively. Isaiah 43, verses number 10 to 11. God said, yeah, Before me, no God was formed. No shall there be any after me. I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no Savior. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse number 9, God said, Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me. None like me. In the book of Exodus, chapter number 9, verse number 14, that you made up, Isaiah 9, 14, 1, 4, that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. Yeah. You understand? Several verses in the Old Testament, God is speaking, revealing his identity. There is nothing unto like him. He's not a man, he's a savior. Yeah, you go to Hosea, Hosea 13, 4. Yet, yet I'm the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt. And thou shalt know no God but me, for there is no savior besides me. How did Jesus become your savior? Did God change his mind? If you could show me a concept of Trinity or any prophet in the Old Testament who subscribed to this concept of Trinity, that Jesus is the second person of the, the, uh, God, uh, uh, the Trinity, God the Son, uh, crucifixion, resurrection. I'll become a Christian. All right. You read the Bible again. Uh, Bible again. Let me, I'll, I'll give you. Uh, I, you three minutes. Two, How many minutes no, left? Many, two more. You need the Bible lessons. How many, no, how many two, minutes no, left? Uh, no, only, one more you, minute. Go ahead, sir. Two more, because you haven't studied the Bible. No, two more, two more uh, uh, verses. You read the Bible again. I'm giving you Bible lessons. Yeah. Deuteronomy 6, 4. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse number 4. Moses said to the children of Israel, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, not three in one. And Jesus said the same thing in the New Testament. In the Gospel of Mark. Hey, Mark 12. Where in the Bible does let, let God me, say, I am not three in one? Wait, wait, let me, let me finish. Let me, let me that was a slight let mistake, me, but I will forgive let, that. Let Continue. In, 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 uh, Jesus said the same thing. In the Gospel of Mark 12, 29. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. No, I tell you, God, this concept of I know the, all of this things concept you're of telling Trinity me. is a fabrication, it's a concoction. Thank you. Jesus, I know all this. Jesus you're was not a Trinitarian. Show me a single verse. Why Jesus or any of the disciples preach this concept of Trinity? It's not there. Any of the disciples have it? Concept of Trinity. All Maybe, right. One more, one more. One more. One more, one more. Yeah. When Jesus left this world, I always as a Christian, when Jesus left this world, the disciples were preaching. What did they preach? I'm happy you said so. Yeah, because if you book your Acts, Acts 5.42 says, from house to house and from temple to temple, from house to house and from temple to temple, they, the disciples, never stopped preaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Messiah, not God incarnate. And in Acts 2.22, Acts 2.22, this last one, when Jesus left this world, Peter are you telling me that you know Jesus better than Peter? Peter was the right hand man of the disciples. Mm -hmm. When Jesus left this world, yeah, perhaps Peter knew that because of the miracles Jesus was performing, people would worship him. Now, remember Jesus had already left this world. Peter went to address the crowd. He went with the disciples. You know what he said? He said, oh men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs which God did through him and your witness it. If Jesus was God incarnate, why is it that Peter forgot to say that? But he made a distinction between Jesus and Almighty God. Acts 2, 20, read it. O men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs which God did through him and your witness to it. So I'm here, we are feeling miserably. We've been here for about 45 minutes. We cannot prove. Hello. Nothing. Hello. Don't go away. No. Let me, talk. Let me respond you. to you. Hey, hey, you've done more than your three go. minutes. I'm giving you because I'm, 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 I'm finished now. Go. First and foremost. You can prove it. First and foremost, this gentleman, I love him. And he needs Jesus Christ because without <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's going straight to hell. And I don't mean that in a wicked way, but basically, 
without a savior, Jesus Christ as a savior, the destination designed for fallen angels will now be unfortunately set for him. Now, first and foremost, there are so many verses. Isaiah 53, that talks that he needs a savior. Genesis chapter 3, talks about God saying that there shall be a son of man which shall be brought forth to be a savior for you because without him you are going to be hell. Now I'm going to read something that Jesus Christ said by himself. What did God say himself in the Old Testament? Let me talk. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, this is John chapter 5 verse 19. This is Jesus Christ speaking and said unto them, pay attention to exactly the different things being said here. Jesus is saying things that only God can do. That's why I said, allow God to reveal himself to you. John, let me finish. John chapter 5 verse 11 says, no man, not you. John, John, John. Let me finish. No man, not you, nor me, can know God the Father except, let me finish. You know, it's my three minutes. It's, it's three minutes. I want you to go to Old Testament. Stop, John. What did God say to the children of Israel? It's three minutes. I'm holding him. He's not going. Three minutes. I'm going to hold you for three minutes. I'm going to hold you for three minutes. I want the Old Testament. What did God say? I've already settled you in No, no, he didn't say it. I have. Apart from as I nine six, which I challenge you. I have I've become a Christian. Answered you. He showed me a verse answered you. where anyone called Jesus everlasting you father. Can choose, God. I'm waiting. You can choose <laughs> to blatantly refuse to accept what Jesus Christ said clearly. God, yeah. Without confusion, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm you can choose to, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait, like okay. he has. Okay, wait. <laughs> but let me read this. This is Jesus Christ again speaking. Okay, go verily, verily, I say unto you, yeah, yeah. the Son can do nothing yeah. of himself, but what he said the Father do. Yes. For what things soever he I'm doeth, not, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going I, anywhere. I don't trust no, you. No, my hand, well, my hand is here. Yeah, yeah. Right. Three minutes. Read, read, read it. What things soever he doeth that the Father does, this also doeth the Son likewise. So the Father can do something, and the Son can do what the Father can do. Are you getting the point? If the Son was not God, why can he do what only God can do? Let me continue. <laughs> but what he seeth the Father do, for which for what things soever he doeth, this also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son. You know your Quran says that God says he does not have a son. But this is, this is Jesus saying, the Father loves him, the Son. That's why your Quran is wrong. You are right, the Father doesn't have flesh, but he manifests himself. God manifests as flesh. No, no, no. Please, let me finish. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than this, that ye may marvel. Now pay attention. For as the Father raised up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. So on the day of judgment, Jesus Christ, God the Son, is the one who's going to do the judgment. So for everybody here who does not believe that he is God, like my friend here. People are, people are, you know, this is a problem with you. Eh? You are the he would, man, you are disturbing. He would have a problem. So, because the judge of every human being, who is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will have a problem. Because you've denied that the Son is God too, and is the judge. Let me continue. That all, this is the most crucial part. Please hear this. This is crucial. That all men should honor the Son. Even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which hath sent him. Yes, for the Bible. 
Verily, pay attention. Verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my words and believeth on him that sent me, he will like that, hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation. This is talking to you directly. Can I, can I talk down? No, just one, one, you just one. Your Bible. Please now, one, I'm telling you. one, one this minute. Is, this is sad. Let me finish. One it's minute. Sad. Let me finish. Pastor Martin, are you surprised? Let me finish. If you come here for 20 years. And pay attention. <laughs> he that learned, he that heareth my words, Jesus Christ's words, and believeth on him that sent me, had everlasting life. The only way you can have everlasting life is for you to believe what Jesus Christ says about God and what God says about Jesus Christ. But I will finally, and I'll, after one minute, I will end. Please, give me one minute. One minute. I'm going to go give me one minute. Wasted my time. Give me one minute. Let me, let me, let me rebut that. One minute, please. John, the ultimate, which he hates like no man's business, but I shall give it to him. John chapter 1. Verse number one. Verse one. Oh, there you go. Listen, listen, listen. And many people have tried, you notice eh, many of the things I'm about to say, many people have tried to flip it up, turn it around, drive it forward, you know, confuse it, mix it. No. Like a we try to shuffle it. But the word is very clear. And I'm going to end with this and I'm going to leave. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now many people have tried to debunk this. It's, it's not debunkable. It is very straightforward. The same was in the beginning with God. Simple. And the book of Revelation calls they, Jesus Christ they, the they, Word of God. Let me talk. Let me go. Let me Very go. simple. Let, 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 there are no two ways about it. And the Word was made flesh. Yes. And dwelt amongst us. Please, everybody's Very here. basic. Let me. I'm disappointed in you. Disappointed. You are a Canada man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let the man talk. Huh? You see, this, this, there this are no two ways to it. You see, many of the scriptures is quoted. He doesn't know that some of us have read the Bible let me, let me, back, forth, me, forth, back, back. Let me stop. But still, let me talk. I humble let me, myself let me, and I appreciate the fact that you love the Bible and I love you. Listen to me. Pastor Martin here. I know I'm just you now I'm surprised here when I come here. These pastors, you see, you have not got one lie and I have of chance against me. You know why? Because you people haven't studied the Bible. You tell me pick. I'm waiting for you to call from the Old Testament. What the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of Israel, what did he say about himself? You have to quote a single verse. I quote about, let me quote some more. I can't believe it. This is incredible. Isaiah, let me give you, let me give, give me about, let me quote six more verses. This is, this is embarrassing for you guys. Isaiah 40, 25. I will allow, allow you to quote 20 verses. But I because, want to. No, no, no I will allow you. Let me finish. But, no, no, I will allow you to, because I'm breaking into your time and I have no right. No, 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 but no, no. allow me to do this. Let, let me allow me to do this. No, so, no, that I, to, me finish. so as to explain no, a don't lot of things. No. Please now. Let we me finish. explain. You know we are going to finish now, so please. Gentlemen yeah. and ladies, the reason I have acted as if I don't know those verses. Why, why, why? Very simple. Okay. This gentleman here. Yeah. The laminator. The, he thinks that the logos. Do you know what the logos is? You don't. Let, let me let me let me take my time. Let me talk. He knows the letter of the word, but he does not know the spirit of the word. And the Bible says this. Let me talk. The letter killeth, but the spirit, of, the letter of the word killeth, but the spirit of the word giveth life. You no. do not know no. what you are talking listen, about, listen sir. To listen to me. You know the verse okay. of scripture, let, let me, but you don't know the let, meaning. Let me talk. The camera sir, here. We've we'll been debating. We've we'll been debating for 45 minutes. Go ahead. I talk. mean, this is embarrassing for people to watch. <laughs> One lie, very embarrassing. You cannot quote from the Old Testament. Who says let, so? Listen to me. Do you know? Let me tell. Who says so? 
What, what, Who says I cannot quote from the Old Testament? Listen, of course. I ask you six verses where God speaks about his attributes. Quote six verses now. All right. Quote it. Google what? it out. You don't know. Google it. Who says I should Google it? But, but quote I don't need to Google it. Quote it. it. Don't quote it. Exodus six chapter verses. 20. Don't Google it. No, no. I want to show you the put, scripture. No, no, no. Put it in your pocket. No. You don't want me to show you in the scripture. Don't show me. Put your pocket. Exodus chapter 20. No, no, no. All right, verse 1. Six verses. Six verses. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. Six verses. Keep quiet. Exodus chapter 20. Wait, wait, wait. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. Get it. Thou shalt not worship any other god but me. Neither shall you raise up another image or raise up an image of me. And bow down to worship it. First one, thank you. I like that. Go next Good. one. One. Thank you. Two. That's one. Go. Two. Exodus chapter three. Verse one to five. Yeah. But I'm going to just, let me just take some of it. In the past, you have known me. I'm going to paraphrase this. <laughs> you have known me. What a no paraphrase. Wait. You said Hold you. Your own excuse me. <laughs> You have known me as Jehovah, Yahweh, but now you shall know me as Jehovah El Shaddai, speaking to Moses. That's one. I'll let you for a phrase. Again. That one. Again. I'll let you for a phrase. Yeah. Remember on the mountain when the fire came down? Which and the children of Israel, you don't know. Quote, quote it. Exodus 22. Oh, paraphrase it, yeah. Exodus 22. Yeah, that is that one, yeah. Exodus 22. Yeah. Now, this is what he said. No, in actual fact, let me even pick a better one. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter uh, 18, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15 says this, that I shall send you another prophet like unto Moses. Him you will hear. Verse 18. Calm down. Calm down. Verse 18. That's verse 1. Verse 18. I shall send you another prophet like unto Moses. And whatever he says shall be. As I put my words in his mouth. Finish the verse. As whatever he says shall be the law. Shall be what shall be. The issue you should follow. Uh, Let me read no, it now. You read it, it's man. In the Bible. You don't, no, it's not there. Read the whole thing. I told you, you fell. No, I'm read not it. failing. I know, 18, I know. I know. Read it, man. Deuteronomy. 18, 18, yeah. Yes. You couldn't quote all of it. Uh, why do I need to? Oh, because because I, when I know, I know it. it. Oh. Of course I know it. Uh, you don't know it. I say, say, quote it. Calm down. Pastor, I'm not Googling it. Google I'm, it I'm showing you what is in You're the Bible. So how would I how would how would I know it? How would I know it? So, so how would I read it if I don't know where it is? Because you already Google it, read it. You don't know. I challenge you fail. I don't know. Read it, Please man. read the pay attention to this one. Read all of it. Deuteronomy 18. I don't know. No, go, I'm not telling you go. The pastor doesn't that. You don't, it's you. It's you. It's you. Who does not know? You don't know. Google it. You're embarrassing. I told people to keep quiet, please. Go. <laughs> Deuteronomy 1818. Let's now. start Deuteronomy 1815. Yeah, start it there. I know. Yeah. And you know why? Because Jesus Christ in God, because, because so Jesus, read, read Christ, Jesus Christ is the word of God. He does not stammer. So read it. It's the word of God. It's not God. Thank you, word of God. Read it. Read all of it. You contradict yourself. The go Lord. Yeah, keep go. quiet. Keep quiet. Go. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, thank you. of thy brethren, like unto me, thank you. unto him ye shall hearken. Thank you. One. You're yeah, gone. Now, first and foremost, no, no, finish, finish many it. people no, always say finish it, finish that it. prophet is no, from no, Muhammad. No, 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 we don't say it that. It is not. Nobody say from Muhammad. Peace Verse God. 18. God, listen to this. I will, keep quiet, calm down. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. Thank you. Like unto thee. Thank you. And will put my words in his mouth. Thank you. Pay attention. Okay. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Thank you. And it shall come to pass yes. that whomsoever will not hearken unto thy yeah. words, yeah. which he shall speak yeah. in my name, yeah. I will require it of him. Who is that? People like you. Wait, wait. Who is that? 
Jesus Christ of Thank Nazareth. Thank you. A prophet? No God incarnate? Yeah, without, ah. without, without, without. Listen to me. John ah. 5. No, 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 no. John 5. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. My time, my time. No. Wait, wait, wait. Who is a prophet no, like unto you, you, Moses? You finish. Wait, wait. Why was Moses? Okay, wait, wait. Why did he say a prophet like unto Moses? Wait, wait, wait. Answer that. Answer, answer. answer. Why did he say a prophet like unto Moses? Don't get excited. Wait, wait. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Answer the question. This is what I want. No, wait. Why did he say a prophet like unto Moses? Take it, take it, take it. Answer that question. Take it. This is what I want. Let me help you hold hey. your books. I'm glad that you go to Deuteronomy 18, 18. Why? Why did no, he say you, a you, prophet like unto Moses? Let me, no, 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 wait, let me help you hold it. You know, you might come excited like me. Your glasses is my break. I don't want that to happen. All along for nearly one hour, Jesus is God. Why did he say a prophet like unto Moses? It's funny, King. Answer why. It's funny, King. Why did he say a prophet like unto Moses? Let me talk. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, talk. Let me talk. Let me, let me, let me, I'm going to go. I think you are panicking now. I'm Look, not. I'm listening Bible, to you. Yeah? John 5, 46. Jesus said, listen to me. If you believe, Jesus said to Jews, if you believe Moses, you believe me, for he wrote about me. Now, Deuteronomy 18, 18, he's talking about the prophet. No God incarnate. Now, wait, 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 wait. Genesis. So, Let me talk. so Moses. So Moses wrote about Jesus. Listen, listen, listen. You're not listening. Genesis. Moses wrote about Jesus. Continue. Continue. You are. I'm sorry to say. You are killing yourself here. Okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me talk. Look, we know that Moses, according to you, wrote the first five books of the Old Testament: Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. You know when Jesus came. He didn't, care. he didn't come at the time of Isaiah, time of Moses. When he came, he found the law. So, listen, Moses would have written something about oh. Jesus. That a Messiah is going to come, a prophet is going to come, come after me. That is why when he came, the enemies were uh, 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 attacking him. He said to them, if you believe Moses, you believe me, for he wrote about me. So when I ask him, what did Moses say about Jesus? Deuteronomy 18, 18 speaks about a prophet, the prophet that agrees like that, 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 that agrees no yeah like a prophet let me finish let me let me let me, let me, let me when they talk about muhammad we said uh, look look these verse these verse yeah, let, let me, like i'm moses. not talking to you this verse, uh, uh, this verse here, nice the verse here, it's, it's, listen to just three minutes, right, so that's the, why. This verse here agrees with the, with the muslim position that isa alayhi salam jesus was a prophet. Now, a part of Deuteronomy 18, 18, so many, any other verse where Moses said anything about Jesus being God incarnate, Jesus being the second person of Trinity, co-equal, co, -equal, co -equal, Almighty God. Jesus came to die for the sin of mankind. So many in the book of Moses, it's not there. All right. A part of Deuteronomy 18, 18. Careful, yeah. man. Come, so, come back, step back so a bit. I'm happy the... now that you agree with the Muslims that, that all right, Deuteronomy 18, 18 speaks about a prophet to come after what? Moses. So your so three minutes, I think, is one more minute no, left. Go, one more no, minute left. No, I finish. No, because no, no. One more minute left. You can go ten minutes because now you've made our day. You can. I can go ten minutes. Listen, to, listen. You are not Please, listening. I'm going. You. I'm going. You can be on your own. No, no, you can't go. I'm holding because your books. That's I why it. I took your books. Deuteronomy 18, 18. <laughs> Deuteronomy 18, 18. Make it clear that Jesus, uh, Isa alayhi salam, in the Bible, according to Moses, a prophet, no God incarnate. One more verse I give you. That's what the Quran said. The Quran made it clear. Quran made it clear. Listen to me. Christians will warn you. Jesus, this is what Jesus said. Jesus said this to the children of Israel in, uh, in Surah Al Maida, Al Maida 572. Surah Al Maida, chapter 5, verse number 72. Inna Allah, al Masjid Maryam, they are blaspheming. They are disbelieving. Those who say that Isa, Jesus, the son of Maram, the son of Mary, is Allah, his almighty God, Wakala Masih, was said Christ. This is what Jesus said to the children of Israel. Wait. Yabani Israel, oh children of Israel, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi or Rabakum, who is my Lord and your Lord. In the home is you Allah. Very so, little anyone who associates parties with Allah, Fakan Haram Allah will Allah. Allah will make paradise forbidden for the passing. Oh my Huna, oh my Lizali Minim and Sad. And the fire of hell. Will be for the person abroad and it shall have no other person in heaven. Jesus never said his God, never was a being. As I announced, you can prove it. You can so go to the Old me, Testament. So thank your, you. Your time for, is up. For, thank you for the Roman 1880. Good. Uh, 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 before, before you go, go, before you go, when Miriam, when a Miriam and Aaron, who were prophets of God, when Miriam and Aaron, who were prophets of God, misbehaved, 
And God made comments describing that statement. Look here. Describing that statement. No, 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 no. Finish, finish with you. Thank you. Describing who Moses was. God himself, not this gentleman here, or Moses. God himself described Moses that you, Miriam, and you, Aaron, are prophets. I talk to you in dreams and visions. But Moses is not like unto you. Moses is different. Moses is the person I speak to mouth to mouth. So your account as to the fact that Deuteronomy 18 verse 15 and 18 talks about just Jesus Christ being an ordinary prophet is wrong. I'm also going to talk about Jesus Christ himself. He asked in John, no, Matthew chapter 18, who do people say I am? And the disciples say, Elijah the prophet, some of the old prophets. But then something important was said. Who do you? He asked Peter, who do you, Peter, or the disciples say I am? And they said, that Jesus Christ was the Messiah sent of God not just a mere prophet Jesus Christ himself said he is God like the father full stop